What is up? Welcome back to my channel. <coughs> I just had caffeine, so I'm all over the place. We're gonna be doing a foundation review. I wanted to separate it because I know I just did one on the CoverGirl foundation, and that's all well and good, and I was really excited to do it, but I don't want to do foundation review, foundation review, foundation review. Um, but today is one that I've kind of been wanting to do for a while, so I'm not gonna put this on the back burner at all. And also, sorry if you don't like how my hair is today. Sucks for you. I'm gonna be doing this review on the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, and I got mine in the lightest shade. I also ordered the setting powder, just like the pressed powder, but instead they sent me the setting powder. So, like the big, um this thing. I didn't order it, but they sent it to me. And if you know anything about me, I am not the type of person that likes setting powder. I do have another powder, uh, but it's from New York Color and I don't really use it that often. I'm more of a pressed powder person. That's why I ordered the pressed powder, but they didn't send it to me. <laughs> but it's okay. I don't like ColourPop customer service and I kind of want to make an entire video on this. I fucking hate their customer service because they're basically like here's a coupon code now fuck off that's literally my experience with them and there's one time I got a refund because I was like not taking no for an answer anyways um, I just rebought it and I also I needed to buy something from Colourpop anyways because um, I need a magnetic palette and I don't really want to spend $30 on a new one so I just ordered the large one that they have but yeah so I'm gonna be testing out the foundation today and the powder um, and I do have a little bit about the foundation that we're going to talk about. I got mine in the shade Fair Number 5. And it just looks like this. It honestly looks like a pretty um, good match to like some other foundations that I've used. This one just looks a little bit yellow. And obviously because it's a neutral foundation with a subtle yellow undertone. I was thinking about getting another one for comparison purposes. To maybe do like one half of my face with fair number five and then the other one with fair 10 or something I don't know but this is the one that I thought would work best for me they did recommend on the website that I try out I think it was fair 20 but when I saw someone do a review with it it looked way too dark I know I do have kind of like pink undertones so I should have gone with a pink <laughs> foundation but it didn't occur to me because I'm stupid um it's weird because like on camera I look pink but in person I like see yellow I don't know I'm really happy with the shade range though if I'm gonna be completely honest there is 42 shades in this range the one thing that I wish they could have improved on well not really improved I wish they added a white mixer it would be a lot it would be nice if people that are paler than me had a white mixer and they could just mix into another shade from this range why did I just do that I have no hair there right now this foundation retails for $12 US and $16 Canadian um, and there's not even a full fluid ounce of product. There's 85, .85 fluid ounces. So just a little bit under. For me, personally, that is a little bit expensive. Because this right here, this is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Like I said, I did a review. So go click up here if you want to go watch it. This has a full fluid ounce of product. And I believe I paid 12 bucks for this. And that is like, how much? six seven dollars us so there's definitely a huge price jump and the amount of product that you get is like Neh. this had 0.25 fluid ounces more i probably wouldn't care but the fact that it has less kind of bothers me and for a brand that only sells online and is supposed to be affordable it annoys me <laughs> this is obviously a liquid foundation and it says it's supposed to be medium to full coverage we will see about that because I've already swatched it and it feels really liquidy um, and it's supposed to give a natural matte finish and natural matte is kind of something that I like if it's not dewy I like a natural matte foundation it says it's supposed to be full coverage natural matte flawless looking skin from day to night it's supposed to be oil free lightweight customizable coverage so i guess you can do like light medium or full i guess um and it has soft blurring pigments and it looks and feels natural so that's kind of like everything personally that i want in a foundation because i don't like something that's completely heavy 
I don't want to be an asshole when I say this, but I know I have good skin because I take care of it. So I feel like I don't need a lot of foundation. Like I can see a little bit of a breakout happening right here, but that's about it. So I don't really need that much foundation, so I'll probably do like light to medium coverage for today. If this is your first time to my channel, hello. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my skin before we get started so you can understand if this foundation would be a good match for me and all that jazz. So I do have dry skin and some of my skin concerns are I do have dry patches in some places. Another concern of mine is um, when foundation sinks into my skin. I do have lines right here and around this area and I try not to get my foundation stuck in there. Today I didn't really prep my skin like I said I kind of just used a toner. I used my clean and clear astringent. This just got all the dirt and shit out of my face. But let's just get into this this foundation review. Before we get started, I wanted to compare my foundation shade to some other ones that I have. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the shade 0 0.5. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade L20. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the shade 0 0.5. This is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain. And then this is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation in the shade Ivory. So I'm just gonna... I don't know if you can see how liquidy that is. Um, I just did four pumps. I think that's like way too much. See, that's very liquidy. I don't even think I wet my beauty blender. <laughs> Fuck, one second. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. See, that's a decent amount in my opinion. And honestly, wow, I didn't even like really care about the shade match for a minute. I just like started applying it all over my face. But I think that this is a pretty good match. If you're kind of like, didn't you just apply this to your hand? No, I did not. If you do not know the beauty of editing, I am going to be doing the swatches of those foundations when I'm done my makeup. <laughs> um, I just noticed while I was applying this, it was like kind of picking itself up after I applied it to um, my cheek area. I would say that's probably another one of my problem areas is my cheeks. Foundation doesn't really stay on there that much even though I will literally lather that shit, but whatever. <laughs> this is an interesting foundation. So far, I will have to blend it down my neck because I think it's honestly like a tiny bit. My eyes burning. So this is definitely an interesting uh, shade match. It does match me pretty well, I would say. Um, yeah, it matches me. <laughs> I don't know, it looks pretty good. On my cheeks it looks okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna apply the powder and we'll see what's up. It just kind of looks like a regular foundation to me. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. It should take like five seconds and I'll be right back. <sighs> I just finished like my actual makeup. Oh my god. I like actually look like a seagull. It's kind of sad. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. I look like a fucking seagull. <gasps> okay, so anyways, I finished my makeup. Up. So I'm kind of just here. My check-in time. So it's 4 o'clock. Well, it's 4.20 right now. <laughs> I'm going to check back with you guys in like two hours. Sorry. It, yeah, in two hours. So I'll see you guys then. So it is 7.32. I've noticed a bunch of changes. Like I said, this is supposed to be a natural matte foundation. But I see now, I don't know if you can really tell, um, right here, it's starting to get a little dewy. I'm under the impression that it's breaking down at the moment. Also, y'all, my closet is so nasty. Like, look, 
half fucking purple, half pink. Anyways, I'm under the impression it's kind of breaking down right now. It really looks like that on my nose. I'm not sure you can tell. I'll try and take um, another picture. Ignore here. My mustache is growing. <laughs> But other than that, I still do like how it's wearing. Ignore this side, like it's completely come off because I dragged my face on the carpet. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. I dragged my face on the carpet. No, but I was reaching to get something under my bed. And my bed is like short because I'm short, so it like accommodates me. But because it's so damn short, I have to like go lay like that on the ground just to see under my bed. And I dragged my face all over the carpet. Anyways, so, um, this is, like, all gone. But on the other side, it's looking okay. But like I said, I'm starting to get, like, oily here. I'm going to try not to touch my face because it already looks like it's going to start coming off. Because it's starting to look pretty oily. But I'm actually going to update you guys, like, when I'm taking it off because I am going to go eat and just enjoy my night. Peace. Okay. Um, it is currently 9.20. I've been wearing this foundation for five hours, but I am just, not only am I getting tired, when I get tired, I typically like to do this. I'll touch my face, maybe I'll rub my eyebrows. I don't know. I just touch my face when I get tired. It's just like a thing I do. But I've been wearing it for five hours, and so far I think it looks pretty good. If you've seen any of my foundation reviews previously, you know that I like to, um do a rating system at the end so what i'm gonna do is i have four things that i'm basing it off of and i'm doing it out of five and then i'm gonna like do the math and then out of five what do i rate this foundation so i'm just gonna rate this first and then i'll tell you my final thoughts on it so the shade match did i think it was good or bad what did i rate this out of five i rated it a five out of five because honestly i look bomb as hell right now it matched really well i chose the right shade if you don't remember i chose the shade 0.5 does it stay true to the claims now i'll reread you some of the claims so it says it's supposed to be full coverage natural matte flawless looking skin day to night oil free <laughs> Nope. Lightweight, customizable coverage has a soft blurring pigment to look and feel natural. So out of five, I'd probably rate this about a four, if I'm going to be honest, because now looking at it, there's only one thing that I would say, or two things I would say really didn't live up to what it actually looked like on my face. Flawless looking skin day to night. I think it's good, but it's just wearing off a little bit too much. Uh, and lightweight. It was very lightweight. It did not feel heavy on my skin at all, so I really like that. Uh, full coverage natural matte. I would say it's a natural matte finish. My skin doesn't necessarily feel dewy, but it looks dewy, if that makes any sense. So it's not technically matte, but it's natural matte. Yeah, okay. Um, customizable coverage. Yes, it has that. It has soft blurring pigments. I would say, um, but you could see some of the texture in my skin, so that's something I would not even consider. So like I said, I give that a 4 out of 5. How it withheld throughout the day. Now this is where we get a little bit concerned. There are some spots that are coming off, and I would have to say it came off around my cheeks and around the sides of my face. Hasn't come off on my eyes, my forehead, um... You know, it actually has come off on my chin. Wearing throughout the day, I would probably give it a two because it didn't really last that long. Uh, now for packaging and application, this one I gave a five out of five. I don't even have to get into the logistics of it. I thought that this shit was so nice. I liked the bottle. I really liked the stars on it. That was really cute. The only thing I would have to say I don't like is I don't like how little product you get in the bottle. I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. But that's the only thing I really care about. Other than that, it applied really easily. It applied quickly. It just looked good. You know? So, obviously, I gave that a 5. A 5 out of 5. So, now I'm going to see what the actual rating is. So, doing the math and everything, out of 5, I would rate this foundation a 4. It's not terrible. 
but it's not the best like I've definitely tried other foundations but there's just things about this that I don't really like I also wanted to take it off because I don't know if you can tell I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier um, it's transferring a lot and it's making me mad and I'm not trying to deal with this anymore because I like this shirt a lot and I'm literally getting foundation all over it you can see even up here it's not supposed to be like this grayish color it's not so it's got to come off so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video